The whole world know this guy. Yes, it's Sebastian Hudek. Of course, we talk about Andrew, guy who only drinks sparkling water, coffee, or smoking the cigar. During his prime, he eat only one meal, which contain a big amount of high quality meat and some veggie. Is that healthy? We have many eating system. We have ketogenic diet, veggie diet, paleo, samurai, or warrior. <laughs> However, most of the population is on the high carb diet, which in the basic form we know contain a lot of sugar, salt, and saturated fats. It is not healthy and it's even harmful. However, we are talking about the most processed version that most of us are familiar with. Not that one who contain whole grains, fish and good quality meats. Glucose is our primary energy component in our high carb diet. Diet that eliminate carb source typically require our body to switch to a different energy substrate, which are ketone bodies that are oxidated in our liver. Ketones are alternative source of energy for our body, which allowed us to survive periods when we did not have access to fruit or vegetables. However, carnivore is not a typical ketogenic diet. The main amount of the energy here come not from fat, but from protein. Proteins are broken down into ketogenic or glucogenic amino acid, which means that the state of ketosis in carnivore diet is not mandatory. It will certainly affect the type of protein consumed and our activity, cause there were cases when bodybuilders on a ketogenic diet can consume glucose during training and did not leave the state of ketosis cause they were burning this energy into current training activities. <laughs> However, is such a diet healthy? Like every extreme in our menu, we need to look at this in wider eye. Certainly eating a large amount of meat will be filling us and will allow us not to think about hunger and just like Andrew to run his business and complete next task. Isn't that the same thing? No. However, in the long term, limiting the consumption of vegetables and fruit, including polyphenols and vitamins contained in them, will contribute to formation of disease. One of the most correlated with the low fiber intake is colorental cancer. But vitamin deficiency is also companies. The problem may also be what fats we are provide from the diet. Cause making the same mistakes as on the ketogenic diet and eating only bacon and eggs and not adding fish or other sea fruits, it will cause the strong disproportion in our lipid profile. Oh, oh, call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! And the ratio of LDL to HDL cholesterol, which may increase the chance of developing coronary artery disease. Certainly contraindications to try such a diet will be any kidney disease or problem with the, the gastrointestinal tract cause this diet is rather hard to digest. Would I personally recommend this diet? Rather no. Whether we mean losing weight or improving cognitive function, I would go for the mind diet. Carnivore is really extreme and you need good reason to follow this diet. One of the people who shared these feelings about this diet was Jordan Peterson. He said that the diet allowed him to overcome fatigue, insomnia and lack of the energy. He also said that he had depression and general malaise. For me, his previous diet was bad. Simply switching to a diet that will allow us to eat only one group of food, in that case meat, we cut out potential allergens or compounds that could make us feel bad. However, I need to know his full medical records to get any consensus. It seems to me that his health could be improved without going to such as extreme. To sum up, will carnivore diet make us to work in 20 hours a day and keep us fit? Of course not. If we want to change something in our nutrition, I will prefer to Mediterranean diet or the mind diet because those eating styles are the most optical for us. So thank you for your attention. From this side, as you know, the best diet in the entire world. Sebastian. Bye.